Hey, welcome back to my channel, guys. I haven't made a video in almost a month now. I've been a little MIA. I reason being is I started a new job uh, a month ago, and I, it's just been I've been working nine hour days every day, and it's pretty uh, been killing me. So I haven't just had I literally haven't had time. So I thought I'd give a quick update. We got a really interesting video here, and. I'll spin the camera around. As you guys know, the uh, it's the middle of winter and uh, the old uh, notch here hasn't gotten any love. It's pretty much more or less uh, where I left it off. It's All it needs is just a water tank for the intercooler hooked up and it's ready to go. I think uh, I'm gonna get off the drag radials this summer or spring, I'm gonna go to a small tire bias ply just because my track seems to really prep for like big tire cars and they don't give a shit about street cars or radial cars. So the prep isn't that good. So I'm gonna switch to a small tire and see what this thing can do. So that's just a little update on the notch, but here's the, the big information. Okay. You guys ready? It's a little, little secret. Oh, what's that? Oh, there we go. And boom. There we go. That's my new ride. Most of you guys are going to know what this is already. Finally got my dream car. Yeah, my dream car is a dirty old 03 Mustang, but this is not just any 03 Mustang. It's the 03 Cobra, a.k.a. the Terminator. Most everyone knows that. Um, yeah, I just bought this on an impulse. I just, it came up for the right deal and I was able to swing it. So yeah, I bought one. I've been looking at buying one of these since I was 16 years old. Could never afford one because everyone, as you know, the prices on these are pretty high. Uh, they're very hard to finance, uh, because they are so old, even though they are a Cobra and a rare car. But, um, yeah, this is a 2003 Fire Red Metallic. Uh, these have the, I'll pop the hood, it's, they have the T56 six-speed trans, uh, the dual overhead cam 4.6 supercharged, independent rear suspension, Cobra seats and stuff. Uh, this car is mostly stock has a couple little things done to it. It only has 30,000 miles, so it's very low mileage. It's not 100% perfect, but it's for, you know, it's about as good as you're gonna get without it just being a, uh, something that somebody put under plastic or something its whole life. It does, I mean, it has seen the road a little bit, but uh, no major damage or any problems at all. It, uh, let's see what else about it. Interior is literally perfect. The seats are, they look like they've never even been set in. It's all stock in here, no CD player, aftermarket one, I mean, or anything. It's got the Mach 460 sound. It sounds really good. The only mods that are here, I'll pop the hood, that are done to this car so far. Um, are, uh, it has a Bassani uh, X-pipe and uh, tailpipes and muffler. I guess you, it's a full system all the way up to the manifolds. Um, no cats, it's catless, so obviously it has some sort of tune in it as well, so it, so it doesn't have a check engine light. But, uh, pop the hood. Yeah, here's the motor, guys. She's tucked in here tight. These things are wide. But as you can tell, I mean, this thing was just kept immaculate. Um, it does have a CNL cold air intake on it with a bigger math. Uh, stock blower pulley, I believe, 
Yeah, it's stock. It's never been uh, really hot rodded or anything, but knowing me, that'll change. I got some a little bit of plans for this thing. Nothing insane, but uh, be, I think it'd be awesome to have a you know six six hundred fifty horsepower street car that's one hundred percent reliable, which is pretty easily obtainable on these. Just put like a 2.9 Whipple on here and some long tubes and a, a tune set of injectors and it'll do that all day long on a 100% stock long block. So as most of you guys probably know, these are uh, fully forged engines. They have a uh, factory manly H beams from the factory, forged crank, forged pistons. They were hand assembled on the line. There's a by a team of two. So yeah, these things were damn near bulletproof from the factory. And actually one little fun thing about this car, uh, it came with a full documentation in the trunk from the previous owner. I think it has had two other owners prior. And uh, they paperworked everything from oil changes to the exhaust and anything they had done to it. This thing had uh, a little bit of engine problems and when it was new it burned up the rear the rear cylinders on each bank and they had to pull the heads and uh, redo all the valves and valve guides and everything which was kind of common on these so this engine does have the cooling mod for any mod motor guys that it connects the rear ports of the heads with a tube in the back which helps them not overheat the rear cylinders and then uh, the second owner, when he had it, I think uh, something with the valve stem seals or something like that went bad on it or starting to leak or something like that. So he pulled the whole, I have all the receipts from the engine shop and everything that did it. They pulled the whole motor, redid the heads again, 100% new valves, new valve guides, new everything, decked them, and then they rebearinged, polished the crank, new piston rings rehoned it so it's all stock internals but it's this engine has been 100 percent refreshed um, it only has 1500 miles on it since it was rebuilt so yeah it's pretty much like a brand new car more or less um, like i said i've always wanted one of these forever they're getting really rare and uh, the price just keeps going up and up so yeah, look forward if you like uh, Termi stuff, uh, I'll have some of that going up. I do plan on taking this to uh, the track every once in a while. Nothing, I won't put slicks on or anything, but I plan on uh, putting a little, maybe like a high performance street tire on here. I think it has Nitto 555Rs on it already, but uh, I wanna get some different wheels on the back, some wider ones, put some 315s on there and stuff. To, fill out the wheel well but uh i'll probably keep the factory svt five stars up front because i like i actually do like the factory wheels on here i know uh, lmr makes a uh wheel that looks just like this but it's ten and a half inches wide and it has like a two inch deep dish lip so i think i'm gonna go with those to kind of give it the factory look but yet uh give it a little meaner stance probably lower it and then save for a bigger blower and some long tubes and uh, any other little supporting mods it needs to do that. But yeah, guys, this is the new car. I'm super happy with it. I picked the car up in South Dakota at a uh, kind of high-end car lot. It was in the showroom. I've never bought in a car that was literally in behind glass in the showroom. It was right next to a Porsche 911 and a, a GTO. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the car is not from South Dakota, so you don't got to worry about any rust. There's not a speck of rust on this car anywhere. The car is from Washington State. So, and uh, from the documentation, the guy, he never even drove it, drove it in the rain. It was garage kept its whole life. And uh, the dealership in South Dakota just picked it up, I'm sure, at a uh, an auction or a trade-in of some kind, so... Yeah, now she's here in Iowa, so uh, yeah, uh, that's the little update video, guys.
So now we got uh, two red Mustangs in here. Sadly, I had to kick my truck out of here, but uh, I'll figure something out for it. Um, the color on these cars is not exactly the same. I mean, it picks it up on camera a little bit better, but uh, well, it, I don't know. It's pretty darn close. This is actually a uh, CTSV Cadillac color. This coupe is not the original paint. It, yes, the car was originally red, but uh, this is not the factory color. And uh, that's the fire red metallic, so. That's got a lot more metal flake in it. You can really, really see it. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for some more videos.